Hunger Games movies and Star Wars, The Force Awakens, hitting the big screen in the next couple of weeks. But the more anticipated of the two may surprise you. According to poll data published by Variety, the final installment of The Hunger Games is now leading Star Wars. Joining me now is entertainment reporter Katrina Zish. Is this true, Katrina? I mean, more anticipated than Star Wars. Isn't that crazy? But let me say, a caveat about this poll is it was one survey and there were only 3,000 people polled. So the sample size, of course, is very small. And, and traditionally, the movie that comes out first, which in this case is The Hunger Games, premiering on November 20th, is always the more anticipated because it's coming first. So everyone's kind of has it on the brain. And this is the fourth and final installment of The Hunger Games. So the diehard fans are going to be out in droves to see this. Scott Martin has a theory on this. Oh, he does. I'm Scott thinking Martin. that the majority of those surveyed were likely women. Therefore, they're looking forward to the Hunger Games because I know the guys. I'm taking Jack, no, full no, disclosure, no, no. The most to Star Wars <laughs> while my wife goes to Hunger Games. That's the deal. That's the, the most sexist girl. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> 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 See, somebody's got to like give Star it to Wars. you straight. I love it. No, 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 not necessarily that. that. Horse hooey. No. My chicks love Star Wars, and I'm not going to see the Hunger Games. Do guys like Hunger Games, either. though? Do guys like Hunger Games? Yes, because Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lawrence is, is hot. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence is sexist. The that was sexist. No, no, no. But Jennifer Lawrence. Thank you. I don't think so. Jennifer Lawrence is the highest paid actress of 2015. Thanks in part to the Hunger Games. And she's still complaining about her pay, by the bucks. way. She is an outspoken one, I will say that for Same sure. Saying guys only go see movies because there's hot chicks in them? Come on. I didn't say Please, that. No, is that more. not true? We deserve more. I thought that was you true. You just said women Jack. don't like Star Wars. Well, well exactly. Jack, Jack, why don't women get like Star Wars? Get in on this. I know you're a big Star so, Wars fan. Here's what, well, here's what I think about Star Wars is you're, this is one of the rare moments where it, Star Wars really means a lot to the parent generation, they, and they don't have to drag their kids because their kids want to see it too. So I think you're going to have a huge ticket. Uh, just It's going to be crazy. Well, and I it's going to endure because some of the parents, you know, they don't need to see it on the day it opens. I think it's going to have legs and it's going to go right through the well, they're saying that even though their anticipation of Hunger Games may be higher at this point, box office records will be shattered by Star Wars. And, of course, Disney is making this parent-friendly for the generation who watched it when it debuted 40 years ago and for the kids. So it's very accessible. So your point is I think it's going to be a big boost for Disney stock, that's for sure. It's, it's already, already lifted the it's stock. I think, it's all right. I think it's already yeah. placed in. And that's the one danger is that people will go out and buy Disney the day before it opens, and it's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news sort of thing. I shouldn't do that? Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> you heard it here first. If it does better than even um, projections, which it very well might. It's and I think it's and merchandise. Likely. I think merchandise, the merchandise is going to be merchandise extraordinary. Merchandise, of course, yeah. is, an, is an additional detail that, of course, boosts the franchise and, and the overall earnings. People aren't going to be buying as many Jennifer Lawrence dolls. Does anybody know us? I have yeah. a Jennifer yeah. Lawrence yeah. 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 Where do you get those? Are you serious, Jen? Oh, Canada's now I've got your interest. Wow. <laughs> That I'm coming dolls. over. They That's kind of creepy. 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 Uh, I agree. <laughs> I was extremely quiet during this segment because I'm going to get some tweets. I haven't seen either of them. Oh. No Hunger Games, no Star She's Wars. never seen oh, Never Star any Wars. Star Wars? No. All right. There you have it. Uh -oh. yeah. Not happening anytime soon with two you babies, gotta, two and under. All right. Well, you gotta go. You you gotta like sit down over the weekend with I, the hubs and watch the original. I know. Star That's Wars. what you have to. All right. It's on the to do list. Drink some right. wine. Watch, watch Star, Star Wars. Wars. You must. <laughs> Katrina, I, I I gotta take your I get your take on something else. Morgan yeah. Stanley's out with a new report, and they're now mm -hmm. predicting that box office sales could fall as much as five percent next year, and probably with the help of me. Katrina, <laughs> uh, we've got a new Blame Captain you. America movie out, a Batman versus yes. Superman movie. Why are they saying ticket sales are going to go down? Well, that's really kind of follows on the heels of what we were just talking about. The major box office success of 2015, which was up 8% over last year, is really what is going to see these numbers slide. Because we are already, uh, again, ticket sales are already in 2015 at $8.5 billion. We have not even seen the release of Star Wars and The Hunger Games. So, so we're that's only going to go up. So because we're already so high as far as way goes. high. Okay. We beat the record set in 2013, so they're expecting right. we can only go so down. So it's tough comps. It's not because it's Absolutely. a bad movie. Of, of course, and I mean okay. stocks were down yesterday for both Regal and uh, Cinemark, so that really just resonates with Morgan Stanley. But so you're going to probably go see both of these uh, movies when you know Hunger Games, Star Wars, Star you have Wars. To. I mean, I, yes, I'm seeing both. Paranormal <laughs> Activity also is coming out. I think that needs to get some play here. That might that's have, all a, time pretty, that's that might have a problem that's an interesting story yeah. because it has a very short release period before it's available on demand, and it's a very Absolutely. risky strategy. And it's it's not being shown at first run in as nearly as many theaters two as weeks, it was. Right. It's like a two-week period. So people will wait and not be huge risk I hope in not. theaters. Yeah. Katrina Zish, thank so you for joining us. Thank you.